This is Moof. Welcome back to Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, last time we killed this th th fucking thing, um, and we came to the secret lab X18. I genuinely dislike it here. I feel confident in saying that this is an unpleasant place to be. <laughs> ah. Nine, five, two, ah, four. Let me in. Let me in here. Close that. Or don't. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm stress eating. I'm stress eating in the game. What in the hell? Is my head gonna explode? Is there a controller in here or something? Skip that. I'm saving it. Army first aid kits. Edges. 9x19s and walker. PM9. I don't want it. You're too heavily. <sighs> Fucking hell. Maybe I shouldn't be carrying around the RPG. Maybe it's not. Mm, I mean, the RPG is like 7 kilos. It, I can't. I can't just lug that around. A few moments later. What, 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 what? Ah. Hey! Oh crap, something is holding the door. That's sealed shut? Commander message. Oh shit. Do I have no bandages? Ah. Get out of here. Oh crap. This is zero three four. We're right about the target. I drink an energy drink. 
Man, my stalker suit got tore up. Maybe I should put on the monolith suit. So, burn 50, electric shock 60, impact. Okay, so yeah, the monolith suit is a lot better. Back to Corden. It's been a while. I don't think we were here at all last episode. Hey, Martwan! It's great to see you alive and even had time to stop by. Come inside. There's something interesting coming up that I want to talk to you about. Dude, why are you so creepy? Genuinely, just stop talking like that. What are you standing there for, stalker? If you want to go through, come up and we'll have a chat. If not, I suggest you take off before we get angry. Alright, sure, let's let's do business. Areas left limits, but I need to go there. Tough luck, unless you really need to go, then the price is 500. How much do I have? A whole lot, okay. And why don't you... There you go, now you're broken, I'm the rich one. Here. Now listen up, I'll pretend for a moment that it's nothing but mosquitoes and butterflies around here. What happens beyond this point is, is your own damn business. Alright, I'm grateful that I didn't, didn't just open fire as soon as I saw them, because... I genuinely considered it. Oh shoot, is this- Oh, Fox. Yeah, he died. I actually knew this guy, so I'm not going to loot his dead body. I'm just gonna let you deal with each other. Like to stalk this camp at the garbage from bandits assault. These guys again? Dude, they've got to learn how to defend themselves. Easier, a lot easier this time now that I actually, you know, have bullets that I could shoot at them. My information might well be of use to you. So, Martwa, you brought the documents from X-18? You bet. Good. The situation is becoming clear. As I expected, this brain scorcher is man-made. It's a Cayman of experimental emitter, and its components were made exactly in X-18. These documents refer to Lab X-16, where they sent some components. According to this, X-16 is located in the production complex area by Lake Yenda. <laughs> the scientists have set up a mobile lab around there, so maybe they can help. And you're gonna send me there next? It ain't simple. You need to get to the scientists and find out where X-16 is, so you can get the missing documents. So, Why did I you up for it? I guess. <coughs> Great, I'll be waiting. Into. Oh my Damn. god, look at his face. I've got a big problem, man. I, I lost my family rifle in the wild territory. I wanted to shoot some bloodsuckers, but I barely got away. Damn. Damn. Listen. Listen, bro. If you get if you get it back, I'll pay you. I've made a little cash here and here, and I'll give you all of it. Just get me my rifle back. It's a family rifle, you know, passed down from father to son, and I lost it. I've grown, I've grown used to it. It's like an extension of my arm now. All right. I'll give you anything. Just return my rifle. I paid you. I lost it by the place where those damn bloodsuckers live. Here are the coordinates. Be careful, though. Bloodsuckers aren't the friendly kind. Oh, I know. How did I manage that? I won't cheat you. It's in your interest. Visitors, some stalker is coming right at us. What do we do? Uh, Don't you know what to do with witnesses? Finish him and I'm make no fuss. Roger, on it. For real? Man, 
that accuracy. I'm gonna splatter you. Witnesses, what the? He got. They called me a witness over the radio. A light rifle with an effective fire range of up to 300 meters, due to its exceptionally easy triggering, high ergonomics, and low weight. This weapon is highly accurate, uh, though it's too sensitive to dirt and is not always suitable for use under difficult field conditions. And this is five five six. Something that I haven't exactly been collecting, but I mean, we can try it. They're mercs. What's going on there? What's all this shooting? Can you hear me? Respond, damn it! What is going on? Yeah, maybe don't order fire on people you don't know. Where's the storage system? Where do I just go to, like, put my stuff in a box? There's a stalker closing in on you. Looks like he's gunned down all our snipers. Watch out! He's coming from the bar! Well found. I didn't get it. Did he knock off our snipers all by himself? Yes. Send a couple of guys to cover your asses. Roger. On it. Chopper is coming to blow you to pieces. Blow me to pieces? Professor Kruglov. Stalker, I'm begging you. We were returning from Yantar when the mercs shot down our helicopter. I heard that they're looking for information, but I know they'll kill us. Help me get to the lake and I'll tell you everything I know about what you call Brian Scorcher. Oh, the Brain Scorcher. <laughs> Brian Scorcher, goddammit. The barkeep will pay you well. Okay. I'm not a fighter, but I'll. Whatever you say, Mark One. But you go first and I'll follow you. Biggie! Hey! Don't mash him, Odili! Mark There's a burner anomaly heading the tunnel. We'd better split up and go one by one. That will give us a better chance to survive. You go first, and when I see you have reached the end of the tunnel, I'll follow. Beware of the fire traps, and look out for hot air distortions. All right. 
the hell? You guys aren't just walking through that like you're fine. No, those are just regular dutyers. I was thinking like, maybe they're not 100%, you know, human. Alright, first let me find this family rifle. Dude said his suit will protect him from the burner. Wow, he really just walks straight through that and does not care. Why are you acting like that? Zombified? What the hell? God, that's creepy. We are safe, finally. Thank you for your help. I owe you one, so here, take this flash drive. These are the results of our last expedition. I'm sure Barkeep will pay you well for this stuff. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, have we finally made it to safety at last? Thank you so much for your help. I am in your debt now. I am in your debt, but for now, please accept this flash drive. It contains the results of my latest expedition. I am sure the barkeep would pay well for it. Marked one. If you visit our mobile laboratory, I'll, we will give you a scientific suit. Ooh, alright. We'll see. Uh, do I have anything that I can sell, actually? Oh, uh, you could probably tell me some more stuff, too. I'm looking for a, for a lab X-16. Could you tell me where it is? Sakharov has mentioned something of the sort in passing, but I do not recall exactly what he said. Perhaps it would be best to ask him yourself. He's currently in the mobile lab by Lake Yantar. Uh, what else? Tell me about the zone. The zone is a wonderful gift to humanity. Of course, normal existence here is not possible due to the high radiation levels and aggressive mutants. All of these things are obviously extremely dangerous, but they are also things of great scientific value. That's fair. The zone is almost a natural experiment, a treasure for scientists. The extent to which humanity's knowledge could be increased through the study of the zone is unfathomable. Technology, medicine, new plants, medical and edible te biotechnology. Cures for incurable diseases, anything. Perhaps we can solve a food problem for the entire planet. If people didn't interfere, science could lead humanity to a new golden era. Duty thinks otherwise, and even freedom doesn't want to help you. Uh, maybe there is some use st in studying the zone. So you understand that too? It's wonderful to discover that there are those among you who are not narrow-minded, practical people. I've always said it's important to look at the whole set of issues from a broader perspective to distance ourselves from the simple human measures. Even if the zone has done harm to humanity, it can still be of great use to us. Oh yeah, and who are you? My name is Krugl Kruglov. I'm a professor of biology. I studied the zone. Yesterday, for example, I found an animal of particular interest. Anthropomorphus dendromutanus vulgaris. I mostly find and document new species of mutant animals, their traits and distinctive features. The information is then thoroughly studied and transferred to the outside world. Some of it of course goes to the barkeep, 
My discoveries have helped to save the lives of many stalkers. I was just transporting the results of my latest research to the laboratory near Lake Yantar when the helicopter came under fire. Let you come to our mobile lab in Yantar. We'll give you a real science. I am assuming that'll be really good at protecting from anomalies and not much else. Well, I don't usually get hurt by anomalies anyways, so that doesn't sound very useful. Like, I need something that will protect me from the bullets. What the hell is causing- Where- where do these zombies come from? <laughs> They're making us deal with zombies now. So I'm assuming. Hello? Hello? That these guys are gonna be peaceful. Hello? Hello? The only person who can go. You've got to understand. It's highly important that we I do the measurements you. now. I'm not going anywhere alone. I'm begging you, please do it. We all depend on it. No. Uh, Wow, Mark 1. It's about time you got through to us. Dude, we literally met half an hour ago. Wow, Mark 1 here on a personal visit. Finally, you've made it to our parts. What do you mean, finally? We we only parted, like, a minute ago. We should have probably just walked here together. Uh, talk to the professor. He really wants to thank you for rescuing me. Oh yeah, and also, will you, can you take some stuff off my hands, sir? Hello? Hello? Item received. SCP, or SSP-99 um, Ecologist. Thank you, er, uh, marked one, right? You helped save our associate Krugelov, and in order to show my sincere appreciation, I would like to present you with one of our working suits. It comes in very handy, you should know that. It could, could I be of additional help to you? I'm looking for Lab X-16. The barkeep told me you might have info about its location. We've long had an interest in Lab X-16, or rather the mechanism inside it that generates emissions which directly affects people's consciousness. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. The place is impossible to penetrate without special psi armor. The outcome is no- is known in advance. Even if you could evade the swarms of zombies that infest the laboratory entrance, you run the risk of becoming one of them. This is all very serious, however, we've designed a screening device to help shield the emission, but to fine-tune it, we have to obtain additional measurements. If you help us with this task, we could probably provide you with a fully calibrated prototype for field testing. Measurements? If you, together with our associate, take all the necessary measurements, I will prepare a fully workable prototype of the armor and will give it to you. It will most likely let you get inside the laboratory. Okay, I agree. Excellent. Talk to Kugelov and get going. He's already equipped with the necessary gear. Uh, how heavy is this ecologist suit? Professor asked me to take a trip to the measurement site. Damn, not not again. What? Now you're talking business. Let's move out immediately. There's no use in getting there alone. It was, or it was no use getting there alone. But with you, it's different. I think we'll manage quickly. <coughs> Just make sure not to let those cadavers get too close. So you it's ready? It's still dangerous outside. You go yep. first. Check the area outside the lab. The monsters have been very active lately. Hmm. You know what? Why don't you go first? I've got a whole lot. Of, you've got a whole lot of experience, unlike me. And those cadavers are starting to move again. Uh, of course. I'm just the resident killer. Wait a minute. Let me do the metering and we'll move on. Kruglov, you're my bestest friend. Okay, okay. A little off the scale, but the radiation is normal. We need to move on. That's... Uh, oh. I 
Um, I invoke the fifth. Crap! Is normal. We need to move on. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, 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 Stay back, dude. Let me adjust the prototype. You did an excellent job. If the measurements are correct, the prototype should provide you with maximum protection from emission. Nice. Stalker, now you will be able to break through to the laboratory, but unless you turn off the emitter, you won't last long even with the side protection on. We've estimated an approximate location of the emitter. It is located in an underground facility. I have marked the spot on your map. Okay. Uh, how exactly does one get inside Lab X-16? Where's the Vasiliev entrance? was working on the lab issue. About a week ago, he and a stalker called Ghost tried to get inside. A couple of hours later, we felt a major tremor, and after another hour, we picked up a signal from Vasiliev, coming from the swamp, but it died away. And Vasiliev died away with it, it would seem. Try to find his corpse. He had the exact information on the lab and the way to get into it. 
They are, may even be in phone deactivating that source of the emission. I've uploaded you all the data we have. Ahem, it would be very interesting to take a look at those documents. So, you think Vasiliev has them? Perhaps. At any rate, you must rip, you must start by finding Vasiliev's body. Um, that is your only chance of obtaining accurate information about the lab's location. The body of your colleague, Ghost, must be somewhere... Must be somewhere there as well. You know, it seemed to me like he knew a lot more about X-16 than he admitted to us. He, had he somehow survived? Well, it's no use holding on to that hope, of course. Alright, I'll try. Hello? Hello. Lab rat. Venture, the venture to Yantar was worthy. Your brain is protected now. Alright, anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. It's, It's been fun, and that's all I got for today. Um, the next video after this will probably be Dead Space, because I've been really wanting to get back to that game. But I didn't want to start that project without finishing this one, because I felt like if I did that, I wasn't going to get back to this one at all. And then I was going to start stressing out over that, and that's... Well, that's usually how my hiatuses start. Uh, but anyways, that's all I got for today. See you. Hey guys, it's me, Critical.